Welcome to this video lesson. I'm glad you joined us today. Today we will be discussing long vowel sounds. Another set of vowel phonemes represented by single letters is those that say their own names. The diacritical mark for long vowels is the macron. Pronounce each word shown here, paying attention to the underlined part of the word. The sound represented by the vowel is the same as the name of the vowel. Let's do a quick practice. Place the macron above each of the vowels that represents a long sound in these words. Here are your answers. Did you get them correct? Study the words pictured here. There are many one-syllable words with two vowels in which the E is the second vowel, as well as the final letter of the word. We can make a generalization concerning these words. When a one-syllable word has two vowels, one of which is a final E, the E is silent and the first vowel usually represents its long sound. This generalization most often applies to the words that have the ending pattern of VCE. The C in the VCE pattern may signify a single consonant letter or a consonant digraph, but only one consonant phoneme. We can see from such words as cut and cute that the silent E at the end of a word has a purpose. It changes the meaning of the word as well as the sound of the word. When there is only one consonant between the spoken vowel and the silent E, the silent E controls the vowel sound. This is very important to remember when dealing with suffixes. Another situation in which we find the vowel to be long is that of the open syllable. An open syllable ends with a vowel phoneme. Study these words. Which ones have open syllables? The open syllables are underlined. How did you do? Since an open syllable ends with a vowel phoneme, we can make this generalization. A single vowel in an open accident syllable often represents its long sound. The vowel consonant pattern for an open syllable is CV. Pictured are some one syllable word examples. The CV pattern can also be in multisyllabic words. Open syllables can be the first syllable as shown in the first two examples, several syllables as shown in the third example, or the last syllable as in the fourth example. Now let's look at these two words to understand an exception to the previous generalization about open syllables. Although the A in about and the A in soda are single vowel letters in open syllables, they do not represent long sounds. Why is that? It is because we tend to shorten the vowel sounds in unaccented syllables. There are some exceptions to this. For now, let's look at words that fit this generalization. For the word about, the accented syllable has a vowel diphthong, which we will learn about later. For the word soda, the accented syllable has the long O sound. For both of these examples, the unaccented vowel uses the schwa sound, which we will learn about in the next video lesson. We will now consider long vowel exceptions to the closed syllable generalization. Do you remember what the generalization is for closed syllables? The closed syllable generalization is that a single vowel in a closed accident syllable usually represents the short sound of the vowel. We expect that single vowels in closed syllables, the VC pattern, will usually represent short sounds. Consider these words. Do these words follow the closed syllable generalization? No! As you can see, an exception to the closed syllable generalization is found in words in which the I is followed by GH. 
The words pictured here represent another exception to the closed syllable generalization. What do you think the exception is? We can summarize. When I or O is followed by LD, the vowel usually represents the long sound. Let us examine the long vowel Y. The long vowel Y can make either the long I sound or the long E sound. Look at these words. What sound does the Y make? In each of these words, the Y represents the phoneme we associate with the long I sound. The vowel consonant pattern for these words is CV. Now study these words. These words all fit the generalization. When Y is the final letter of a two-syllable word, it represents the long sound of E. Y is not always the final letter in a word. Study the words shown here. If Y represents the long sound of the E when it is the final and only vowel in the last syllable of a multisyllabic word, then the open syllable generalization we have studied applies to A, E, I, O, U, and Y. Therefore, the Y would represent the sound of the long I in cry and the long E in lucky. Here is a skill to help you determine when the vowel in the word or syllable is long. When the vowel stands alone, it will be long. Here are some examples using one syllable words. To see how these markings were made to prove the pronunciation of the short vowel sound, watch the document camera short on phonetic skill three. Here is another skill to help you determine when the vowel in the word or syllable is long. When the word ends in silent E, the first vowel will be long. Here are some examples using one syllable words. To see how these markings were made to prove the long vowel sound, watch the document camera short on phonetic skill four. Let's use your growth mindset and put it all together to practice with some short and long vowels so that you can learn and improve through your effort. Pronounce each of these words, then on paper, write the pronunciation proof for each vowel. Make sure you pause the video lesson so that you have time to practice writing the answers. Here are the answers. Did you get them all correct?